Hey, it's your boy Cuffo here, and welcome to the second episode of the Wolf Hero franchise. As the faceoff here for the Colts is lost, Hero losing the faceoff, and this will be the second of three videos. And as you can see here, there is a penalty on Hero leading to us going to the next time he's on the field, which is 17 minutes and 41 seconds. So practically just to round this out, um, there's going to be three videos. The one I've already posted, go check that out. You got this video, of course, and then... We will have the video after that where we find out where he's drafted and a couple more games. At least like one or two. So that will be a little bit of a shorter video. And then we will get into the, ju the junior NHL season because we already went over junior year for... Um, soccer, which was kind of a brief, brief thing. So if you want to check that out, that is the second MLS video I posted for this. And also, we then, once we get into senior year, we will have senior football, senior soccer, senior hockey, some baseball. We actually will have baseball coming up. Actually, bef after junior year hockey. So, a lot to keep in um, hopes for. And also, please do not try that at home. Please do not be fighting people. We are not okay with that. YouTube, please don't cancel this video. Maybe? Alright. So... Now, as we go in after that chaotic, chaotic scene, we will return to enough. Also, you're starting to see the behind the scenes of the simming until his next chance. So now we are on the enemy side of the ice. And so far, some... Pretty decent defense by both sides. And we are going now to try to hopefully get a goal. I mean, though you're playing some great defense. Not hitting the crease necessarily, but their whole team's very close to a crease. Kind of forming that semi-circle shape. And, which is a smart plan, just I feel like that's a little bit broken. And as you can see here, switching out now is going to be Shiro. So, come back in, trying to get down. And for whatever reason, I was not playing for a second. And... Great defense there by the opposing team. So, this is, if you are not aware and chose not to watch the video before this, which I very much recommend you do because there will be spoilers coming in this video. This is the Capital, I believe it's Capital One. No, it's MasterCard um, Memorial Cup. And it's just a couple, there's some OHL teams, some CHL, a lot of stuff just everywhere. And you can kind of see a little bit of tension coming here between the two teams. As there's a power play for the Colts, as we will end the first period. 0-0 zero, zero tie as some great... Great play, great defense by both sides, and trying to win the faceoff is Shiro, and losing the faceoff, and that will 
lead to the Colts being on the defensive. And as you can see here, fighting for that puck, you have two Colts right around them, passing around the little bit out cove behind the goal as trying to get some there as the Colts get would have gotten the puck back but is given now well it was given to the opposing team Shiro driving down the ice with the puck three people on them making him lose it now trying to run down into this defensive position as there is now a goal for the opposing team, one nothing. As right now the Colts are trailing, and one unlucky play. But now it is one one going in here with about 13 minutes and 20 seconds left. Try and get a hard hit there is Shiro, but he cannot get it done. As try and get in defensive position, but when you're on the other side of the ice, it is not always easy. And another goal here by the opposing team, making it now 2-1. to one. And this team has been probably the favorite overall in this Memorial Cup. If not the best team in this Memorial Cup currently. As great defense there by Shiro. And... Now, as a little bit of defense there, as Shiro just happens to intercept that pass. Great job trying to get it down the ice as the shot is saved and is still 2-1 to one with about 12 minutes left here in this second period. And now, as we skip ahead, it with 7 about seven and a half minutes left in this second period. The Colts are still trailing two to one as they are in enemy ice. But some failed offense failed face off and some failed offensive efforts leads them to be back here on the defensive, trying to stop it from becoming a three to one game. Now, great save there by the goalie, as now a lost face-off. And kind of laying down this goalie, having a couple good saves here. And this defense and offense not being able to get any real getting only one goal compared to the two. The defense kind of laying, leaving on. Leaving stuff off the ice as it is kind of been rough here for the team on defense. Giving up as we've seen two goals. And Shiro now getting off the ice. So now as we move ahead in the action, I believe that will end end the second period if I am correct as it will at a 3-3 tie so as you can see there two goals the offense starting to step up allowing one goal which is a little rough but it does that is okay all within five minutes so this game is for anyone to take a hold lost face off is not lead is not doing well for the Colts as they have to go on the defensive and as we've seen giving up three goals hasn't been fantastic considering two of them were pretty bad goals. Shiro trying to get down the ice cannot as it is as Shiro trying to drive down now as a good pass by him, as a pass misses him, and he gets hit by a couple of enemy players as thinking he has the puck, he does not, and is trying to get a good defensive hold, but he will go back onto 
the sideline as we now are set up here. Still 3-3, 12, about 12 minutes and 10 seconds here in this last or at least third period as there is a icing call. And now in enemy ice trying to get it is Hero, but as a lost faceoff, a hit and awful, a awful hit leads to an offsides as there will be another faceoff, another lost one, as so far Shiro has not been doing great. And for any team that decides to draft him, I think that would be kind of a good thing. And speaking of that, after all these games, there will be a draft profile kind of made for him. Not necessarily, gig not necessarily a whole in-depth thing, but just kind of some stuff he does well, some stuff he does not. So as we move forward in the action, probably going in with about five minutes left, as we can see here, five minutes, two seconds, down four to three now is the Colts. So, trying to go there as almost another goal there with a lost faceoff. Shiro trying to do everything they can. A goal is very much needed here or else they will lose. As a 4-3 three, three is a pretty high scoring game here. But, I mean, that is both on good offense and bad defense. So it's very possible for the Colts to score here, but so far they cannot. Trying to get down before it is called icing, but they will not make it. So now as Hero tries to actually win a faceoff here, but it is given to the enemy team. Trying to get that puck back, cannot get a stick on it. And realizing a goal is needed, tries to get down there, but cannot as a good save there by the goalie, as Shiro is now taken off the ice, as with 17 seconds left, is now 5-3, to three. two goals needed, and it looks like that is very unlikely, as the Colts will lose this matchup, as it is as there is under five seconds left and about to be called game as five to three is the final score here as the Colts do lose as you can see there good defensive play here by Shiro now we are back for some more CHL action as the Colts will be taking on the Wheat Kings in their second matchup of the year that was expected to be their last one, but because of their play, they are now in, not the finals, but in, I guess you could say, the playoffs of it, as there is a penalty on the Colts, I believe possibly on Shiro, leading to him being taken out. That is the second time in two games that he's been taken out at the beginning because of a penalty. But so far, the Colts did get a goal, so is now a one nothing lead here for the Colts as the faceoff is won here by Shiro. Some you didn't see much in last game as trying to get a little bit of a fake as trying to get an assist there, but it cannot be done as a little bit of a scuffle going on there between the Wheat Kings and the Colts as Shiro trying to tack on one more win, but he cannot as he loses and the Wheat King is driving down now into Colts ice as some good defense here by Shiro but and great defense there as well as almost a one-on-one -on -one matchup but there is a missed goal as Shiro trying to get the puck runs into the goalie who had a great save there the question is, can the Colts get another 
face-off win there. They cannot. And, and now a great play there by the goalie as he has a nice save. Now driving down the ice as Shiro does switch out now. As we are waiting to see. The score is still one nothing. Power play now for the Colts with just under 14 minutes left in this first period. As a minute 14 left on the power play as a great defensive hit there as he gets hit as Shiro gets hit from behind by the Wheat Kings leading to a turnover but they do get back into Wheat Kings ice as trying to get the puck back as they did for a second but the Wheat Kings get back as Shiro does get the puck trying to get there gets hit by the Wheat Kings and then loses it by a goalie save from his stick. As a win there from Shira who is on fire today. As having a good amount of face-off wins. Probably the most he's had all year. And also some great, great job. Great plays by both offense and defense here of the Colts. As Shiro will be taken off as we advance here. We we will have 8 minutes and 8 seconds left. Still one nothing game as now under 8 minutes. Give him to Shiro, but he loses it. Wheat Kings now driving down into the neutral part of the ice. Now into Colts side of the ice as... They are passing it around, trying to get an open shot. So far, if you're the Wheat Kings, you are looking for some sort of opening, but you're looking to kind of catch them off guard. But it is taken now by the Colts as trying to take it is Shiro, but a good save there by the Wheat Kings goalie. Looking for a save for a one faceoff. But it cannot be done as now going down is the Colts and Shiro as the only one down the ice is Shiro getting hit from behind and then from the front by two Wheat Kings players as now going into just under, just over, sorry, six minutes left here in the first period. As minute 36 left is now a 2 nothing game. And as you could see there, the Wheat Kings only have had two shots on the goal. Just proving how great this defense has been. Not letting them get far enough into the territory or getting shots. So as you can see there, good save by the goalie. As a minute and one second left here in this first period. As a lost faceoff could lead to possibly a 2-1 game going in. But a great interception there by the Colts. As driving now down the ice. As I believe that will be a offside. I believe actually on Shiro. That is an unexpected mistake. Which they have had kind of lately. So Shiro trying to... Get down, but so far it's just been a little bit of a scuffle in the neutral zone for the puck. As under five seconds left here in this first period, and that will do it. As now we will go in to the second period, trying to get a winning face off as it is considered a toss-up there as no one is considered to win or lose that one. So, Shiro trying to get the puck back, but the Wheat Kings will drive down into Colt, into the Colts' ice as trying to get on defense, as we saw last game. When you don't get on defense, it can cause some very big problems. So now, again, the puck is Shiro trying to get a 
open goal. It was taken by the Wheat Kings, but and now the Wheat Kings have it again. Getting it way down, possibly could have been considered off sides, but not called there as a great body check there by the Colts as is given to Shiro. And he is hit out of position, and now Shiro will go to the side. So now with about 12 minutes left, it's still a 2-0 game. As trying to get down there is Shiro, but he cannot in time. So... Now trying to at least avoid giving up a goal and trying to have a shutout would be fantastic for this team who had a pretty rough game last week. So now going a great block there by the Colts, but it's given to Wheat Kings. Poke check as there's a penalty, I believe, on Shiro for a... Uh, sticking, I believe. And as the goal happens, penalty, and that will lead to Shiro having to sit out. As now with eight minutes left here, I'm well, just under nine minutes left in this second period, Shiro here with the face off as it is one. Shiro going around, but there are two weak kings, but is won by the Colts as driving down into enemy ice now as a great slap shot just off trying to do some, but the weak kings will recover the puck now, but is now Shiro a toss up now trying to get off it, but Shiro trying to take it himself. A whole entire fight going on for that puck as now Wheat Kings in Colt territory as now that will be it for Shiro's shift as we will be going in now with a minute 48 left here in the second period as so far a pretty good game all around and a missed slap shot there as there is a great play there by this Colts team. Sorry, Wheat Kings team on defense. Missed slap shot there. And is recovered by the defense. Shiro passing it back, trying to get the puck, but there are too many people around him. Can't find an open spot. Finally gets it to Shiro, but he is sticked. And there will be a power play for the Colts now as we skip ahead. That is the end of the second period. 2 nothing as we go into the last intermission that we know of. 2 nothing. the... Third period as a lot a face off lost as the Wheat Kings are going down and trying to get a shot off but a good save there by Mr. O as a good defensive play there with the Puck as is trying to be given to Shiro, but is intercepted and now taken to the other side of the ice. Still 40 seconds left in this power play as a faceoff is taken, but is lost as is given the round to the goalie who drops it off to his men. As I mean, this team. Both teams have been really good. I mean, the Wheat Kings have had some decent defense, but they've slipped up. Offense, not so much. But that could be also considered. The Colts have had some really good defense. 
with, I mean, yes, no points have been given up, but they've been aggressive. And another goal here, and that will be technically the first points by Shiro with the assist, 3 nothing now. And, I mean, overall, great game. Like, that offense just got a really nice shot there. Shiro is doing everything he can here on defense, on face-offs. And really having a better game than he did last week, which, I mean, that's all you can ask for. I mean, as Shiro, you must be thinking, I'm finally having a good game. As a coach, you you may have been like, I don't know about this guy. But now, he's starting to step up and learning from his mistakes that he took last week. And now, the coach might be like, alright, we can trust it, him to run first teams in actual games like he did before. As we've also seen from he plays high school soccer and trying to make it to the MLS and he is and just overall you've seen from a lot of places all around that coaches sometimes they have too much faith in their players, but I think Shiro has really shown in this game that he ha there's a reason to be trust trusted. As Shiro is now thinking he's going off the ice, but apparently not, as now he does. And that will lead us pr probably at probably around like seven minutes, but actually further three minutes power play and another goal making it four nothing here in this third period. As this seems to just be a blowout. I mean it like you can just tell from the offensive offensive plays and the defense from this Colts team it looks very different I mean they put up three points but it's kind of some lackluster points as offsides will be called on Shiro and if that was not called that probably would have been a goal as Shiro trying to get open but covered as a goal is trying to Get hit there. So. Just some defense trying to keep it a shutout. And as we talked to the coach on the side, he says the goal right now is just keep it clean. Don't allow any penalties. And just do as much as you can. As you can see, there's a bit of offsides there. Well, almost offsides. And trying to get a goal, which could have gone through, but he was hit by three different people. As Shiro trying to take it again, missing the shot. And, I mean, so far it hasn't been great offensively. Defensively, he's been pretty decent. And face-off-wise, has been pretty good. As Shiro gets pummeled by two people, as he will now go to the sideline, as many people will, for this Colts team as it looks like that will be it for nothing with the shutout having almost 10 more shots and that will be it for this action and I will see you all in the next one.